All right, this problem says a pogo stick has a spring with a spring constant of uh, 2.5 times 10 to the power of 4 newton meter. That's 25,000 newton meter. Okay. Okay, that means to compress the spring of the pogo stick this much, one meter, you would need a force of 25,000 newton. 25,000 newtons is uh, the weight of an SUV. That's right. That's right. <laughs> so, this is all a setup to see. <laughs> yeah, well, you need an SUV to compress it this much. When you use the pogo stick, it probably compresses that much or something like that. You know. Ten. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Are we recording this? <laughs> well, okay. Anyway, anybody own a pogo stick? Oh yeah. So this, those are passe now. Nobody buys them or nobody sells them. Nobody goes outside anymore, so. It's just oh. Just <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we know that this class is so much fun. <laughs> I get paid no matter what. <laughs> What's that? All right, right. <laughs> See, only business where they take your money up front and there's no refunds. <laughs> this is going to be a fun recording. All right. <laughs> so which can be compressed 12 centimeters. To what maximum height from the compressed spring can a child jump on the stick using only the energy in the spring if the child and the stick have a total mass of 40 kgs? Okay, so now what we have to do is sort of, uh, well, I won't draw a pogo stick and all that. So here's the spring. Here's the child and the pogo stick. Okay. And so you're going to use this spring energy and you're going to jump up that much. Okay. So, well, if you want, I can draw this as well. So there's the pogo stick with the child. And now the, now the spring is uncompressed, okay. So again, only conservative forces act and energy is conserved, mechanical energy is conserved. Okay. There's no kinetic energy, okay. So potential energy, gravitational potential energy initial, spring potential energy initial, plus kinetic energy initial equal to same things in the final configuration. Final. Okay, the kid was at rest to begin with and at the top of his flight, he's at rest. Okay, so the kinetic energies are zero. Initially, we'll take this as the reference level, y initial equal to zero. Gravitational potential energy is zero. And in the final configuration, in this configuration, the spring is not compressed. Okay, so the spring potential energy is zero. All right, so one half kx square is equal to mg y final. And y final is this. Okay, that's how much this, the kid and the pogus stick jumped. Newton per meter. The spring was compressed 12 centimeters, 1.2 meters. That's equal to 40 times 9.8 times y final. Okay. Uh, well, actually, I'll do this.
y final is kx square by 2mg. Okay. All right, so y final works out to Point four five meters. Okay, so that's uh, half a meter. Okay. So, can somebody Google what is uh, what was Michael Jordan's work vertical leap? Forty-six inches. Yeah. No freaking way. <laughs> yeah, that's four feet. That's one point two meters. That's that much. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> What's that? 